One more to go. Think you can handle it? Did you just sip from a t And that's how- Until the other is paired. We and when one of them holds an irreversible eradicating elixir, a powerful magic that will slowly destroy whatever it touches from the inside out. There are no special markings or any way to puzzle out which is the poisoned vessel. <laughs> if there was, I would have slipped it into the batter of your breakfast years ago. But what fun would that have been? 
We'll each take turns to drink first. Grandpa was at a loss. For the first time in his life, the four E's of puzzle solving could not inform his decision. There was no logic to puzzle out. No clues or hints. Just a simple choice of life or death. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always... Just a simple trinket. Leave that alone. It's just a decorative prop. Take your time. Oh, don't mind that. Just a simple trinket. Leave that alone. Oh, don't mind. Leave that alone. Oh, don't. Well, I guess you won. Bested me. Good show, old friend. Guess I'll ingest this and call it a night. But you know I don't play fair. And you've just revealed where the elixir is hiding. You played right into my trap, just like that foolish archer. Yep. Grandpa's life was spared, and our whole family moved to Tantalor. The end. No. What? It couldn't have ended like that. You know, if I chose that cup, it would have destroyed the very castle you are standing in. There is only one solution. He was out of options. Grandpa looked around at the kingdom he created and realized there was only one choice. Grandpa knew the eradicating elixir would slowly destroy him from the inside, but Daventry would live on. That day, Manny was outsmarted in a way he never imagined possible, in a way he could not comprehend. Huh. Nice move. I'll accept that. But let's see if I can help speed up the effects of that potion. You pushed a thinking man to brute force. I hope you're happy. You've already won. There's no need to torture him. It was at that moment, while his body was being jerked through the air, that Mordak was reminded of his first encounter with Grandpa. memory stirred up something fierce inside Morda. Manny didn't save him from a life of goblin abuse. Grandpa did. And it was time he repaid the favor. Leave him be. I won't ask you again. I guess it's time I held your tongue.
Manny's enchantments over the castle were broken, and he was never heard from again. Daventry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Graham, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. That suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. All right, kiddos, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa and I'll tuck you in. Good night, Grandpa. I, I love you. Uh, I love you too, God. And I am proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. I just want to say you're the best grandpa.